Sister worked for Six Flags at one point, so, uh... God, I don't know my shit. Uh, she got the fired line. in a really bullshit hierarchy scandal. Also, for some reason, the lighting is really bright and I can't hear the game. Uh, Fuck! The, the Justin Persona. Yeah. Most unfortunate. Ah, better prizes. Good luck next time. I got beans. Yeah. I'm gonna feed it to my so dragon. Was, or no, it wasn't. No, no, no. I'm getting my chicken confused. He plays the hyena in uh, Let's go. Enter the hot spring. Like he did a piece for his colleague that nearly died. That was that died, right? Welcome to the and sausage like party. Hey, yeah. And it's just a dragon like going into like the woods, holding up like, a kid's hand. Like, and I think it's titled like farewell. Yeah. Hey, it gone? Oh, so cool. I'll kick so back sad. and relax me for a bit. Just dang, my sore muscles. Ah, this really hits the spot. Fairy's gonna be so shiny tomorrow. Most hot and warm brace does most of these things today. My fur is gonna be so shiny I can queef or yiff. I mean, Jesus Christ! I'm actually, that. there's a male equivalent for that. Actually, don't ask how I know this. Um, apparently the male. How do you know this? Apparently the what male equivalent. The male equivalent is called a quoff. What? I thought yiff was just a standard thing for that. No, it's called a quoff. That's the male equivalent. I don't think yiff is even sex though. I think yiff. No, is that, just like... that, that's just a furry thing. You've been here before, though. I don't know. I wonder if JK and people, everyone else thinks we're not streaming because we've had some issues. Yeah, not sure. Uh -oh. Very faint memories of this place. Some things feel familiar. I was young, holding my mother's hand. What Welcome. the? Welcome. Welcome, all of you. Have you been enjoying your visit to Vala? Ooh, this voice actor sounds hot. I don't know who they are. Hello, Azura's mother. Huh? Mother? Wait. This can't be possible. You're. Wait, how'd you know that? Look at her hair. Who else uh -oh. has that hair? Also, Jesus I Christ, that her. outfit. Oh my god, yeah, she's rocking hella side boob and cleavage. <laughs> I'm a rat. That's a hell of a window. Oh, this has a rat, not a heat. Uh, I got a thumbnail idea now. <laughs> I think I know what you're going for, and I approve. Also, meet Azura's mother. Also, how can you like Camilla when Azura's mother is rocking fucking double D's in a revealing outfit? And look at and uh, look at those childbearing hips. I know they're childbearing hips because Azura's here. Because <laughs> Azura's here. <laughs> Oh, How that's what you? that was. Oh, wow. oh, this is you. What the magic is this? <laughs> I know you said Anankos could turn dead. Wait, I know that you said Anankos could turn the dead to his will, but this. Unbelievable. By the father of Zura's mother in order to proceed? Azura. Zura. Can't imagine how this feels. You alright? <sighs> I'm okay. Unrelated, but how much do you think Ryoma spends on hairspray? You know the meme how Yugi. You know how the meme with Yugi where he has to spend 24 hours to clean his hair? Dude, I've seen Yu Gi Oh cosplayers. They have to cake that shit in fucking spray paint. That's how long it takes. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just every day he gets up like 3 a.m. and he's just like, I have to train, but first, my hair. Same with his father. His father had a similar. He, his God. father his father was the one that taught him how to fix his hair. <laughs> because his dad had the same hairstyle. <laughs> I was looking at his hair. It's just like the first time they're showing him in the front. And I'm like, how long does that take him? I don't know. I'm okay. I don't think he's my mother. Without any memories of being my mother, you're nothing more than a puppet. You know that, don't you? Mother. Wait, so these things are like zombies then? I think so. Mother, what nonsense. The only thing I know, the only thing I need to know, is this. But that's a fun line. The only thing I know, pray, the only thing I need to know, is this. That is all, that's, all that's a good must line. Die. That's a really good line, actually. The one you time- You know what it is, it just goes off your tongue. 
I like, like I said, this game kind of pisses me off in the weirdest of ways. Because there's nuggets of genius here, but they barely ever act upon them. Like, you notice the two right there. There's like, every now and then they have like these nuggets of genius in the story, but they just never act on it and it pisses me off. God, I love this instrumental of uh, Grey Waves. You know this song is the only thing that sold me on this game, right? 100%. Probably sold a lot of people on this game, but unfortunately, it this did, it game... It was in the TV commercials, and it was great! Unfortunately... Like, you know what? I'll bite the bullet and play a Fire Emblem game. Fuck unfortunately, you. Fire Emblem Fates is Fire Emblem Fates. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I did enjoy it as my first Fire Emblem game, but going back through it, I'm like, uh... Yeah, there's a lot of problems. Yeah, that's weird. What are the two ways to destroy Soul Edge? Bad level. Are the two ways to de what are the two ways to defeat Soul Edge? Oh yeah, wasn't there like a bunch of ways to do it? But it's just kind of weird to do it. There too. Way number one, common sense. Do not pick that bitch up. Way number two, it looks real soul if it, it looks sketchy as fuck, so yeah. Listen, don't it's a badass sword, but don't pick it up! It's sketchy as fuck for a reason. Unless you want to be possessed by a fire demon. Uh. Kill him, please. Hello, dear. Oh, did someone cry because I hit them? Oh, take this. Yes. Yes, it did. Stepping on him. She does it. Oh, she, she definitely steps on the blood around him. She definitely steps on the faces of her fallen enemies. Oh, did I hurt you? Oh, I'm so sorry. She holds up a severed head. Try more for me, please. Azura's gonna die in a bit, but luckily she doesn't I feel like it. Atlas had to work with such a budget for that game, though. Which one? This one? Not, not really a budget, but like they had to work on the Switch. Which, the Switch in its early days could handle PS4 type shit, but now it's like. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. MK1, which I. Funnily enough, I found a copy of MK1 for Switch randomly in my in one of my drawers, and I don't know how I got it. I didn't used to think of that. It's gonna play like shit. Oh no, I know that. But here's the thing. I don't know how or why. I was looking through some of my like old boxes or like my drawers, and like there's like a little like basket on the why side of the. Why did you spend seven dollars? on the fucking Mortal Kombat for Switch. I didn't! It no, 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 no. I didn't buy it. I just found it. It was in my fucking basket. What? What? Did you just sleepwalk into a GameStop, steal it, then walk out? No, I just found it in my fucking basket. And I just looked up, I look inside it, and I'm like, is that a fucking Switch game? Then I look at it, and it's Mortal Kombat 1. And I'm like, the fuck? How did, did that part just possess your games library or something? No, it just showed up in my basket, and I'm like, ain't no way this is real. This has got to be like some weird, like, RC shit or an RC like, card. What the fuck? And I'm like, nope, this is a real copy. It was just there in my fucking basket. I don't know how it got yep. there. Besides reviewers or like people that really want to play World Combat and only had a Switch, I don't know who the hell would even own that. Yeah, it's weird. Like, how the fuck? Like, it's so weird. I don't know how I found it. I just did. It was just there in the basket. And I don't know why I had it. XCOM luck. Yeah, really. Even the XCOM luck as in you're surrounded and you can't fucking hit anything and you get murderized? Yeah, that. Or like, like an alien fucking hits you from across the damn map. Like how XCOM now has that stigma of that one game series that is just way too ball bustingly hard for no particular reason. Dude, I was doing the base raid, right? Which is like the first main mission in the game. Almost did it, and I got fucking. S My best dude got sniped from across the map by just a random ass alien that wasn't even like a big alien. Yeah, that's why I don't want to touch XCOM because I know that game's gonna piss me off. Also, if you have to fight the possession alien and you don't kill it quick enough, say goodbye to every single one of your men. It's gonna rip through them like a butter. Not only does it kill your men, it makes zombies out of them. <laughs> of course it does. Because it can. That did not hurt. Oh, he can't even do anything. He's out of ammo. Wait, you get run out of ammo for magic? What? 
Yeah, you can. How the fuck? That's bullshit. I mean, it's not as bullshit as Shadows of Valencia that uses your own health to fucking cast shit. Oh. Where the healers are constantly at low health. <sighs> can healers at least attack? Is that a, that a question? Uh, I believe you can. Huh. Unless you, like, class change him into a battle healer. Beast room. Nice. Got that one with an arrow on his shoulder. Okay, time to murder your mother. No, wait. How I murdered my mother. No, time, time, to, time mother. to murder your mother. Oh, that's yeah, gonna How I hurt. murdered your mother. That's gonna hurt a lot. Everything that I do. I do in the name of the great Anonkis. Uh, I hello. said it's a hard name to pronounce. Fuck! You're literally a zombie woman. I know, you got hit by a wabbit. Hit by a wabbit, he says. Hit by the wabbit. Silas. Wait, You're switch. gonna have to heal Corrin somehow, he's gonna die. Hold on. Switch. Won't give up. I'm pretty sure the game can function without Corrin being alive. Yeah. That's killing! Bye-bye, <laughs> Azura's mother! You were a bitch to the end. Everyone dies. He <laughs> really funny. Bye-bye! Oh, Fuck like, you! Good, Message appears on screen. Get good, scrub. Oh. Yep. You have fought well. I must retreat, but you haven't seen the last of me. Yes, I, have. I have to go uh, rub my vagina vigorously as I think about the outcome of this battle. She's a fucking hardcore masochist. <laughs> Just masturbates to the entire battle. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> that was a little dark. That was dark. I know. Why do we? Why do we do this? Every time we play a game like this, we always have to do that shit. Every time we play a visual novel, I mean, come on. When else do we get to make sex jokes? I don't know. <sighs> you always Rick. masturbated frequently, didn't you? Rack gave no indication she would spare us. Had she won the battle? It's sad, but that was definitely not your mother. <sighs> I know. Just never thought you I'd know, see her again, much like I this. I kind of really want to pair Azora, Azora with Ryoma. Does it let us? Yes, but it, uh, I'm not gonna do it. Damn it, I can just see these two though. I don't know. I don't. The only time. Unless I... maybe because he had a girlfriend and doesn't let you ship him. Yeah, oh no, he did have a girlfriend. That's why I'm not gonna do it because it's like. It's like it's like with FF7. I'm not gonna make Cloud go for Aerith because of the fact, you know, Aerith was Zack's girl. <laughs> what is that? Does Aerith die in part two? It... This is part three, she dies. I'm not gonna spoil it. It's not easy. Azura. Yama's right. I wasn't your mother. At least not the woman you remember her as. <sighs> well, my mother taught me the songs I know. That's not all. Do you remember the fantasy name for what this king is? He's Master... a. Not a bone lord. He's like an. Oh, he's a necromancer, essentially. He's reviving the dead. As her life was fading away, she taught me all she could do a good of the history of Vala. My mother was special to me. She was the one who showed me how to live. Thanks to her that we are here, fighting against Anankos. She's gone. My mother died. What if it drops a bombshell that corner her sister? Maybe. It'll be funny. Even if she looks the same without her soul in her body, that isn't her. Leo the fighter? Maybe we should run into her again? Bitch, I just did. I think so. No need to worry. Yes, I can defeat her. I know that's what she would have wanted me to do. You know, I have a really good feeling Azura might die in the end of this. I don't uh, know if she does, but I have a good feeling she might. Nah, the, the, the writers are too much of a coward to do it. They sure they killed Scarlet, but Scarlet barely had any interest in the plot. <laughs> they killed the character that was like literally in the plot for like five seconds. Yeah, they don't care. Azura's been here since the beginning. I doubt they're gonna kill her. Don't see a leprechaun getting in our bath. There's the voice I wanted. 
They just think we're sore muscles. Green. You see Green hack him out of the water and Gudra's like, You motherfucker! Just start strangling it. Yes. That'd be funny. That'd be fucking hilarious. Time for Leo. I'm sorry, but that joke's not dead until this game is over. In like five chapters. I just didn't want to make Gunther like the boring ass knight dude. Yeah! Alright, you can go on. Uh, oh, wait, I'm Leo. Uh. Sigh. So all I want after this is some sleep, but there's still much to do. I'm like looking finger at finger blasting the missus that I'm not even married to. And looking at this penis nipple. Fuck <laughs> <Look>, yeah. <laughs> by the way, by the way, Corin, have you always had that weird fucking mole on your dick? That's cancer. We don't talk about that, Leo. That's cancer, Leo. No, some people can have those. Oh, okay. I should know. Not giving any more details than that. Ah, uh, you have one. Okay, cool. Takes a fuckload of chakra. Like, to put things in perspective, the fourth Hokage is like Ryoma. He's a dude that your general will be like, if you see this man, fucking run. Like, imagine having that kind of reputation. Yeah. I imagine that's what fucking Nor generals say about Ryoma. Yeah. Prince Riola, there's something I must speak with you about. Oh, it's smiling. I have noticed that Korn is often without a Hoshidan escort these days. Are you aware of this? Of course. It is so, because I ordered it so. Weren't you pissed off at the fact that my Hoshidan units were, you know, a bit too clingy on you? Wait, 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 excuse me. I spy a power balance and power indifference. Corrin's out of this army, not fucking Ryoma. How was he able to order that? Well... Oh, wait, no, he had his people escorting him, so... I forgot everyone has their own people. This army's disjointed as fuck. I like to imagine, like, a totem pole. Corrin's at the top. Uh, Ryoma and Xander just in charge of, like, the Plebeians. E. And then the retainers kind of do their own thing. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> Why well, I told you it was alright! And if it helps appease your people, all the better! I appreciate your sympathy on this matter, but I've reconsidered things. I've lately realized that you and yours are perhaps not our true enemy. <laughs> Please, go off. Damn it, I thought I was getting a hold of this thing. And yes, I may have decided to roll back my units before, but yeah. Naruto is the offspring of one of, if not, of not one obscenely busted bloodline, but two. <laughs> yeah, you had the fucking Uzumaki, then you had the, or you had Minato's bloodline. Actually, no, no, no. Minato's bloodline was, like, really obscure. Like, Minato was, like, the only strong person in his bloodline. I think his dad was, like, kind of weak. After all, I after hearing what about happened recently. all those years ago, I was worried about corn. I would be remiss to allow that concern to climb my judgment. What in danger is all doubt our own allies. Friend Xander, I see that now. So, must overcome my own prejudices for the good of all. Is it bad that part of me wishes we can gay marry these two? I wish we could. Like, we want to have a jutsu like Minato's, but with, light, with Minato's, but because the Rasengan really only works with Wind Chakra, it kept breaking and becoming a, light, a lightning attack instead. Oh, at it again, Xander. Don't you ever sleep? I really have to talk a lot today, don't I? If I train while my enemies are sleeping, I shall always have the advantage. Mind if I join in? I had a great time training with you the other day. I'm always happy to have such a capable fighter to aid me in my practice. But for God's sakes, if you end up like Takumi, I will kill you. I'm hoping I don't. After all, he and Camila do some freaky shit. I mean, one time I seen Last... them, one time I seen them like behind the alley and just going at it. Like, holy fuck! I did not know the brick wall they could damage a brick wall that hard. Xander just vomits. This is why I never took part in the Norian Circle jerk. He's the only normal one. <laughs> he's the one that's like, fuck that shit. Yeah, he's a normal one, including Corn. Corn was like he's the, the only other... Norian without a what? Corn's the, he's the only Norian without a. Here. Oh, sorry. Corrin's the unfortunate He's the victim here. Oh. What'd you say? Corrin's the unfortunate victim here. 
He's also the only Norning without a crippling STD, except he has a crippling cough instead. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous, but watching you train always uh, makes me feel safe. Um, that sounds like a that sounds like a some sort of massive Stockholm syndrome. Oh, one hundred percent, it is Stockholm syndrome. Or like a dependency complex. I don't know. Yeah, well, no shit, it probably was. Remember, he never left the castle. Oh, yeah. Truly. Well, I suppose if that's the case, I shall forgive us both. It's a miracle. Now, excuse yeah. me, I commit brutal secapoo in the middle of the courtyard. Realistically, it's a miracle Corrin is acting the way he is. It's a miracle he's been able to survive this long that's society. Insane, yeah. Yeah, it's a miracle. Like, I'm surprised he hasn't they broken down yet. They say the way, like, to prevent Stockholm Syndrome when you're kidnapped is to distance yourself as much as you can from your kidnapper. Like, not to get close to them? Like, even if they show you acts of kindness, don't, like, give into it. Yeah, like, play along, but don't give in. Truly. Well, I suppose if that's the case, <laughs> I shall forgive us both! Now excuse me while I go stab myself in the middle of the courtyard to earn everyone's forgiveness! Oh, is that... Kumi just walks out. There's blood everywhere. What the fuck happened? You know, as we fucked up corns, they'd be like, did Ryoma tell you that's what you do to earn forgiveness? Did, did Ryoma tell you about the Hoshidim Sekapu? Oh, Jesus Christ. And it's like, that you know, you do realize that that was bullshit, right? You, you do realize he was fucking with you, right? It's Hoshidim Hazing. <laughs> Hoshidim Hazing. <laughs> Yeah, that was what, those decisions. I don't know about that, brother. Who kidnapped him, like Xander or the dad? I think it was the dad. And I like how Xander is like, you're my brother now, even though the dad just took... I like how, I like to think that when Xander, when they finally took Corrin back to the castle, it's just a bunch of random Hosh Norian kids just looking at this random dude. It's like, this is your brother now. <laughs> and they just accepted him out of nowhere. Daddy, why does that kid have silver hair? We don't talk about the silver-haired ones, child. Which, to be honest, I think is actually a, a believable explanation for it, because isn't all the all aren't all the Norian kids just have different mothers? Well, yeah, they're all from different queens, and the Hoshidan kids are from one. So they probably assumed Corn, which is another one of the queens, or another queen probably. or some shit. Wait, didn't they say before that other like some of the like I know they didn't let what's her face. Uh, Spear Girl play with him. What's her name again? I keep forgetting. Uh, Azura? Yeah, Azura. Thank you. I was no, in a mind Azura. block with her and uh, Azura her and Felicia. Yeah, no, Camila. Yeah, Azura was Norian born, right? Oh, Camila and Zan. C Camila and Xander knew. Oh, that's bullshit. Like, I remember them, like, talking about, like, how they were born to different mothers and it caused, like, feuds and shit. Apparently, Camila and Xander are the only ones that knew, which is, like... Now that I think about it, Camila and Xander are probably the only ones that are developed. Everyone else just feels half-baked. Yeah. Here's the like, problem. They tried to make two different kingdoms with essentially mirrors of each other, and it just didn't go well. Yeah, the only ones that are good are Takumi, Ryoma, Xander, Camila... And maybe Sakura. But other than that, yeah, most of them don't feel developed all that well. Listen, Does bitch, matter? not every gay person sounds like this. That is homophobic now. No, I know that. I just, like, usually when it comes to no. gay voices, you sound like you have a very specific well, type. I had two friends that were openly gay in high school. One talked normally, like we're talking now, and the other sounded like that. Ryoma, is something the matter? What do you think I learned how to do it? Dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had a missed opportunity yesterday when we were walking on the boardwalk. I saw a sign for margaritas, and I should have recorded it and sent you a thing like, Margaritas! Ah, Corn, Just thinking about Scarlet. She's still alive and with us. I'm sure she'd do something to dispel the mood. Yeah. Yeah, like sucking your... I mean, uh... Polishing your armor. Yeah, I think you're right. She probably would have been secretly giving you a hand job behind the rocks over there, but okay. Hey. Well, there is something bothering me about Scarlet's death, Corn. I'm trying to find the right time to bring it up. Huh? What is it? I need to know who killed her. Wait, I just had an epiphany. So this guy can raise the dead. He's totally gonna try and raise Scarlet to fuck with to fuck with Ryoma. Maybe. Ah, oh, 
I'm a pissed off leprechaun. Oh, so you're curious about that as well, Prince Ryoma? Yes. Dude, I had a voice for him in the beginning of the series and I can't get it back. It's pissing me off. Yeah, just watch watch the other streams, you'll figure it out. Indeed. Uh, I am a pissed off leprechaun. Well done. Maybe I should do that shit to you. That was it. It's like an old Scottish man. What do you mean? Wasn't it a random Valite soldier that killed her? <sighs> Not a random soldier, Corrin. A spy. Scarlet's killer is most likely one of us. It can't be. It can't be. I'm Dwayne Takumi! What the fuck? Why are they bringing this up now after like four chapters? Everyone! Who's the spy? I blame Takumi. Whoever thinks it's Takumi, raise your hand. Everyone just raises their hand, even your kid. Think about it. We're the only ones who jumped off that bridge. Of course. Wait, she died jumping off the bridge? Uh, yeah, someone attacked- someone, like, spawned out of the wall and just shot her in the face. I'm a pissed off leprechaun, and you said yourself. You and Scarlet were attacked after falling- as you were falling, my lord. I think oh. it was one of those invisible fucking leprechauns. Ah, They're everywhere! So you start see. stabbing in the you air. You'd be ambushed as you fell. Kill him with the jumps without group. Want us all to trust each other, so I didn't want to say anything. At least, say, not until I was certain. I start off after that. There we go. I appreciate that, Ryoma. But. However, it's possible that we'll encounter even stronger resistance from here on in. We may even reach a non coast soon. Dude, we have so many people, I can't even think who would have done it. Besides, like, Azura, maybe. I doubt it. They don't have the balls. One thing I could think of is maybe the traitor killed her because they knew that she was going to probably betray us. But then again, this game's not that well written. Yeah, the writers didn't think that far ahead. But we have no idea who the traitor could be. What can we do? I'm sorry. Sorry, Corrin. I don't have an answer right now. Don't lose faith in those that have pledged to follow you. Just I think I noticed conversation Ryoma. I don't know if it's from experience. Understood. Oh, I didn't mean to talk over your dialogue, sorry. Alright. Now well, you're bringing this to me, Ryoma. I noticed Ryoma's a lot more astute and attentive than everyone else. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed. Along with Xander. Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Queen Oret, a.k.a. I mean... Humongous boob window. They're in their, like, mid to late 20s, so they've had probably had combat experience since they were what? Like, usually you start, like, on the battlefield in medieval times in, like, 16, so... No, apparently kids like Xander and Har and and Haruka started when they were, like, 8. Well, they were probably someone squire. No, like, no, apparently they started, like, super young, apparently. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't the Norians say they had to fight because, like, their kingdom was being, like, besieged? That and also because, you know, the war with Nor... Or Hoshido. Oh yeah, I couldn't. They're they're probably still someone squire though. They would have had to be probably their handle or squire. Ah, uh, you must leave this place at once. I'm gonna allow you to approach this castle. Don't question why I have the same voice as Camilla, or I will kill you. Leave, or I will destroy you. Uh, right. I should, do this one, I should do it more villainous, actually. You won't leave. You must let us pass. Another fight, then. Do I need a two-shot a bitch again? I knew you wouldn't listen to reason. Hey, game, don't voice lines when to... that I'm going to voice. Oh, of course. <laughs> you called it. You called it. What? Look at this. Look at the second line. Oh, I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't listen to reason. That's why I brought a friend of yours. It actually helps that she talked there, because now I have, like, no other voice. I'm, much so I'm right on the voice. You have a better idea on how to do it. What are you talking about? Not to worry. See, it's what I imagine that Camilla sounds like, but more British. More British, he's, he says. Not to worry. If you live long enough, you'll understand. Is that too evil? Let's go. Here we go, everyone. Uh, I think child soldiers are considered bad right now. Oh but, shit! Except in Genology of the Holy War, the there's a time skip, so they're not kids. I mean, they're the kids of your characters, but they're not like they're not like the kids from this game that are like 14, 15. They're like actually like in their 20s. Yeah. Beefy server for that game. Well, for what? Oh, he's a sword catcher. Fuck. Uh... Dude, if there is a 
I need to look into that, because if there's a Wii Mifi server for fucking Pokemon Conquest, you know what we're doing. Hold on, I'm trying to figure something out. That game's multi- I don't know why Nintendo's never made a fucking sequel to Pokemon Conquest. That game is so good. Murder! But I feel like they feel like they'll have people complaining to me like, Why can't I transfer newer gen Pokemon to these games? I don't care if it was made in 2004. I had no choice. You like, did I have a like choice our... and you murdered that man. I feel like the Pokemon community is its own worst enemy. Oh shit. Have you seen the- We have no patience. Have you seen R34? And we disrespect everything the devs do, and it's fucking terrible. Like, yeah, like that one time people were bitching at the devs about, you know, not being able to transfer their Pokemon for the 3DS games. Or not having all- it was- it was not having all Pokemon Sword and Shield, and it's like... I'm like, first of all, you know they have to up-res every single model, right? It's gonna take time. Time that if we were willing to give them, they could do, but we didn't. The big problem is the company itself, because they're... Like limiting the time they have to make stuff and the budget. Yeah. Good. You know, I feel like Camilla's team will 100% be uh, pressure from Encanto. <laughs> I don't like Encanto. I don't like that movie. I saw up to a certain point. I'm like, I'm bored of this now. Yeah, it kind of just bored me out, and not only that, that fucking song with Bruno. Fuck that song! I hate it. I can't even sing it because on stream. Damn it! Yeah, thank god, because I fucking hate that song. That song is... I don't even... Like, it's not even one of the good sung ones, I just hate it. Like, I think, it, in my opinion, it's one of their worst songs. It's, like, just super annoying. Nothing stops you from legally doing this. Oh yeah, you're not singing it in chat. You're not singing it, you're just singing in chat. You're good. But yeah, that's I perfectly just... legal, yet I can't sing it even though we're not making money on it. Copyright law is dumb. Yeah, I know. I just don't like the song. It's just so fucking annoying. I hate it. Why the fuck is him sending me fucking Twitter ads? Who? You know the fucking Viagra company? Oh. Like, I can't believe they're adding Fem Speed to uh, Persona 5 or Persona 3 Reload. As a mod, yes, officially no, which is bullshit because I know I they can. They're doing it officially with the DLC though. No, it's not. They're not doing it. And it's fucking stupid because they can. They fully can. Modders have already done it by now. They're just doing dialogue and that's it. But other than that, yeah, they can do it. Yo, your date pulls out a Game Boy Color instead of a cell phone. What do you do? Um, Mary. What? I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, that's hot as fuck. Funny. I had a really funny idea. You know those old man plays videos I used to make? Yeah. I had a joke for it and an idea because I could easily do it. I just have to record the footage for my PlayStation. I have the old man like go for the sorting hat, and he's like, "Okay, there's 20 bucks in it if you, because you can actually bribe the sorting hat in the game, I think." And he'd be like, "Okay, I have a good, ta I know a really good tailor. He's yours if you put me in Slytherin." And then it's like, "Hufflepuff, motherfucker!" You're healing this man. I'm like, me, he's got his lawyer on me. I just fuck that song. <laughs> regards to Bruno. Me! I just hate that song, man. It's so fucking annoying. <sighs> yeah, he is a really good lawyer. Yeah, I mean, no, he, he go, he go, he's really he, bad at preventing slander. Yeah, he graduated from Go Fuck Yourself Academy. Oh, fuck yourself, guy. He's graduated from like shitty lawyers. You, you. I love soccer. Just watch Corin get cat gets. Yeah, I love soccer. Just watch Corin get cat. Oh my god, I, I can't English tonight. I love soccer. Just watches Corin get casually stabbed ninety percent of the time. Not doing anything. Yeah. 
I'm gonna make some room for Xander and Roma. Murder! Bye bye. That's all. Fatality. Flawless victory. JK, your wife is a menace. Why are you calling her? Wait, what about his wife? Uh, apparently. Oh, it's oh a that one. I'm like, doesn't he actually have a wife? Yeah, he does. It was a joke a while back, and he kept begging. It was when JK. You remember how JK always kept wanting Camila? He subsequently also watches our streams for some reason. Yeah, his wife also watches the stream every now and then. We became a friggin' household name. How did we manage this? I don't fucking know. I don't know either. Victory is mine. Like first it was Doc, now then it was Jet, now it's JK. Which we haven't seen Doc and Jet forever. Well, but they show up in the Persona stream is mostly. Yeah, that's where they we most. That's where. My wife kills really good. <laughs> I'm sure you say that in the bedroom about your actual wife, JK. Well, yeah, this man lucked out and got a goth GF, so, yeah. Lucky bastard. Yeah, lucky bastard. I called him that a while back. That's not gonna kill, it's 28 times 2. That's... Oh, wait, I stand corrected. I can't math tonight! It's killing, motherfucker! <laughs> Very amusing. Murder daughter. Wait, hold on. Murder daughter. Sir, we've come to tell you about your car's extended warranty. Stop resisting. Stay out of this. I like how we just subconsciously agreed to make Xander and Ryoma the ultimate duo. I mean, they are. They always have a broken mascot in every fireman game. That's just the norm, recently. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, Cell and Alm are the mascots for uh, Chess Valencia, and they're not that broken. JK, I get it. You're old, and you know the Harlem Shake. I'm not gonna ask how you know. <laughs> To do the bottom. Oh, nice. You're not alive, and that was a thing. That's like a Vine trend. Bros beyond time. Right, remember Vine? HKK, remember Vine? Shut the fuck up. Even I remember Vine. Rice. <laughs> Who remembers BL? Raise your hand. Yeah, it was it's a pirate anime back in the day. Yeah, it's disgusting. We can do the one where she gets a mouth. She'll have healing. It's really better. Fuck! Murder! You missed. Damn it, I fucking missed! Real was like, dude, can you seriously stop talking like that for five minutes? You try having an infectious disease! <sighs> and he's like, I have my own equivalent, it's called the Hoshin and Fever. And what does that do? It makes us really, really horny. It makes your balls drop all the way to the core of the earth. Just your voice is so deep, you can't even hear yourself. Yeah. You sound like a fucking Doom Eternal choir. Or you only hear the deep voice in your head, so every time everyone's talking, it sounds like his voice is stupid deep. Mm. Xander, you are the MVP! What the fuck?! God, I hate to make fun of video games, but it's it's a fucking national pastime at this point. So many people you know, are gamers. suck if we get monetized. We're gonna have to start watching what we say, and that's gonna make this a little bit boring. Yeah, it's gonna make this boring, unless we just don't give a fuck. After all, a, after all, a game like fucking Class of 09 can get away with so much shit being streamed. So... Which, by the way, we need to get back to Class of 09, because the game is gonna... There's gonna be a sequel for Jekka this time. Yeah, I'd rather stay away from that game. It's too edgy for my taste. Especially that I'm the one who owns it, and you don't, you made it's, me buy it. Well, not that it's edgy, it's just too... How do I say this? It reminds us of an era that we'd rather forget. The era... It was literally a high school era before mine. Like, mine was the era after it. Directly. And that's the sad part. It's that it's based off that... Them. It's based off the developer's era, which he was probably from that era, which, oh my god... The only anime kid in my era, you were fucking made fun of Roland. Like, I will not allow you to go any further if you try. I will kill you. Trump, bitch. So this is like the third chapter now we're fighting against her army. Yeah. If this hits, it's gonna end the battle instantly. Please. Yes! 
Ba doom Dead! We killed your mother twice, Azura. Said I'm like, dude! Azura. Huh? Did she just say my name? Uh, come closer, Azura. Mother. Why do I feel like Azura's about to die? Don't. I was about to say, if this scene is fully voiced, I'm gonna be pissed off. I was about to say that. <laughs> Stabs Azora. Can't be. You remember who I am? Soon. 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 My body and soul will disappear. Now I'll be forever released from Anonkos' control. Ah, oh, my sweet Azora. I finally remember you. Jim, I had to die. Unbelievable. First. Can it be true? Is that really you, Mother? Zora, wait! This could be another trap. I don't See, that's exactly what I would be thinking in this situation. But it might not be. What do I do? Azura. You know. Corin. I see. You're right, of course. I'll trust that this is my mother. That she's telling the truth. Mother. <sighs> Azura, Azura, why are you so flat and your mother's so hot? Azura, you've grown so much. Thank you. At least you remember me. I missed you so much. Uh. I just noticed it's playing another remix of Ocean's Grey Waves. Yeah, this game does that a lot. Why does this game have to have such a good soundtrack? Tied to such a shit story. I'm sorry for leaving you. You've been suffering alone for so long. No. I was never alone. I've had the royal children from Norn Hoshido by my side. And those have joined to help me too. Oh. That's wonderful. I wish I had more time. I could feel myself slipping away. Huh? This stabs Zero right there. You can't! I just got you back! Don't go! I'm Dude, I hate the trope so that, like, say a possessed person just, like, becomes whole when they're, like, dying. Yeah, that's stupid. Azura, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being my little girl. I- She's only known you for five years! Sakura and Silas, let's do this! S Silas? Where's Sakura? Santa to worry about you. Something's wrong, please. No, I'm fine. What were you trying to ask me the last time we met? It was... Um, Why are you fucking Scottish? About your condition. My condition? I didn't know I had a condition. Am I... Am I you know, a divergent of some, some shite? <laughs> <laughs> Am I fucking no, no divergent? I know the guy voicing me right now is, but I don't know I was. I know the, vo the guy voicing my grandpa is no, no divergent, but I don't know about that. Oh my god. I love making autism jokes, yet the autism community actually gets pissed when I do it. I'm like, you have I'm the, autistic, I have the right to. Yeah, you have the pass. It's like, you have the, Listen, N you have the equivalent or the N-word pass, you're good. <laughs> okay, can I just say this real quick? I hate to break character, but... I have autism. It's not going anywhere. I might have, If you can't laugh at your own misery, then what's the point? You know, right? That's a sad princess, and I'm feeling fit as a fiddle. You don't believe me, do you? Would you feel better if I could, um, examine you? Um, if that's what it takes. You're my guest. Listen, I need you to bend over and cough real quick. You know, to be fucked up, imagine Sakura as a secret dom. <laughs> it's a what? Imagine if Sakura is a secret dom. Please tell me you got that and had to have that done at least once. No. Oh, you don't know what I was referencing there, do you? No. So when a doctor needs to look at your funny, look at your genitals, like when you're a dude, like when you're like, to make sure you're like you're growing correctly, they will literally tell you to turn turn around and cough. I was hoping you get that. Okay, it's all take a second. I have time. I also I'll take my son along with me. It's your head, my head. Oh, you made my hair. I know Dude, that was a great read right there. 
I know it sticks on water than her should. Why did her hair say that's a condition? No, it's not your hair. I mean, yes, your calics are unusually severe, but that's not what worries me. Doctor just went fucking Scottish for a minute. Oh, wait. We're agreeing on the hair being the problem. Can we go back to that? That's strange. You don't seem hurt or sick at all. Uh. Oh, God. And having established that, can you explain what you thought I might be? I'm a little lost. Oh, of course. How did I not see it? I think you might be cursed. Cursed? How? By whom? I fear that. <laughs> I fear that someone's cursed this, your head. Just say so he's stupid. autistic! Just say that! <laughs> I, is she literally just being like, you're a moron? That has gotta be it. Right. There's no time to lose. Please excuse me. Cut us on my head. What is she talking about? She's essentially calling him an airhead without calling him an airhead. Can I take my meds tonight? That's a good question. <laughs> yeah, I did. I mean, you acted normally, so... Yeah, sometimes I'll forget like a dumbass. You have another kid? I feel such a fire inside when we're together. My whole body, my soul. She sounds bored. Yeah, that's code for we just hella fucked. Okay. I love my she fiery tomboy tribal men. This bar's so nice. You're going to have to drag me out of it. You know he always is feeding. I imagine Silas has hella calluses, though. Oh, fuck yeah. Apparently also running a horse makes your legs ache like crazy. Also hurts your balls oh. after a bit. Mind if I join you? Because there's plenty of bathwater to go around. I swear to God, Izama wants in our pants. He seems like the dude that would be hidden, um, unknowingly gay. Oh, He seems nice. like the dude that's spying on the women's bath. Nah, I get, I get how long, my gaydar is going off. He seems like he'd be secretly gay. Yeah, he has a very specific reason why. He, he can access a secret catalog. Yes. He's the only dude able to access a secret catalog. Yeah, we could definitely finish this game in like one more stream. Then we can finally move on to three houses, which is going to be weird because Sunday we got to change it. Because Sunday is meant to be for shit games, and this game qualifies as a shit game, kind of. It barely qualifies Te for one. Technically, does this mean I get to pick the next shit game? Yeah, plenty to pick from. I know one I can pick, but I'm not. I know one I can pick, but the thing is, I gotta reinstall it, which I regret spending <laughs> sixty bucks on that game. Why does that game you know cost sixty bucks? To, you know we're gonna have to play through, right? I'm not touching Sakura Wars. I was referring to Zanki Zero again. Oh, well, that's the case. Good luck, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not being a part of that, dude. I'm gonna I... finish it because I know I spent money on it. And it's pissing me off that it's on my PlayStation unfinished. It's unfinished because it's a buggy mess. Anyway, if you guys like this stream, uh, leave a like. Yes. Follow me or Shinigami, and uh, make sure to join the Norian Circle Jerk. Uh, you know what'd be fucked up if I start a Patreon someday? I can make that a, a tier. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny as hell. No, no, I don't think you can use the term circle jerk yeah, on Patreon. Yeah, I don't think up. Patreon would let me. <laughs> just, call the, just call it the Norian you-know-what. That'll be funny. Alright, guys. Alright, we're gonna end stream here. If you guys enjoyed the stream, for those that are new, I would really appreciate you subscribed. And go subscribe to this, man. This is, this is YouTube is Japan number 27. 79, I mean. 79. And... Please like the stream if you enjoyed it, and leave it. And for those watching after the stream, you are absolute chads. Uh, go ahead and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Like the vi the like the stream smirk. if That's you liked it. That's actually perfect. And leave any comments for any criticisms or any th nice things you want to say about me or this man right here. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to bed. So um, hopefully next week is the last time we stream this game. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go check out the Hoshiden Human Centipede. Yes. And I don't think you want to see that. So good night, chat. It's pretty fucking gross.
the band Sex 